So um, what we did was a quality improvement project. Um, my dietitian colleague, our medical lead, and myself looked at feeding tube dependency. So we're from the Stollery Hospital, which is a centralized tube feeding program um, that services tube-fed children in northern Alberta. And what we found was that we had a gap in service delivery for children that we were calling feeding tube dependency. So medical issues are resolved, but these children were just not progressing off of their feeding tubes. And what we found was that this was causing a huge healthcare burden, and it's a huge level, a huge cause of stress and frustration for families. So what we developed um, was what we called mealtime support. So over a year, we did a pilot project um, looking at children that were feeding tube dependency, feeding tube dependent. So that's our criteria. And I think the most important part in there that we highlighted was a stable family and home environment. Um, this is a huge commitment on families' parts. Um, and we also want to make sure that outside of the clinical environment, families are modeling good mealtime behaviors. The, the program itself is, it's essentially a hunger-based child-led program um, modeled off the GRAS program from Austria. So <clears throat> we sort of looked at our population and handpicked a couple kids to try during this pilot period. So before starting the program, children come into clinic, um, they see our medical lead, um, the dietitian and myself, and then if children are eligible, um, we give them a calorie reduction schedule. So it's a very, what we call fast and furious approach to calorie reduction. And a lot of research in the area has shown that a faster reduction will help kids to actually understand what hunger is quickly. Because for many of these children that have been tube fed their whole lives, they've never really experienced that physiological sensation of what hunger is. So over a period of four days, we reduce calories by 80% and fluids by 20%. So after the reduction, we bring the kids in. So it's a two-week outpatient ambulatory program. We see the kids three times a day for breakfast, lunch, and snacks. Families bring food. And essentially what we do is we sit together and we eat. And the whole idea behind it is that we're modeling positive experiences with food and good mealtime behaviors. Um, children are weighed three times a week, and their weight is monitored very closely by the dietitians. Um, and if children are losing more than 10% of their body weight, um, we take them off the program. So over a period of a year, we trialed this approach with six patients. Um, the youngest was a 15-month corrected um, child, and the oldest was eight years old. Um, all the children had G-tubes, and we picked kids with a range of diagnoses. So we had one um, child with Down syndrome, diagrammatic hernia, X-prem, kind of a range of diagnoses to see how they would respond to the approach. And all the patients had G-tubes at the time. So. These are the results that we got. So we looked at their oral intake prior to starting the program, once they started the reduction, throughout the two weeks, and then as we followed them. At the initiation of the program, the patients were all taking between 0 and 30% of their nutrition orally. Um, and as you can see, they all responded quite well to the approach. Um, patient number five had to be taken off because she was losing too much weight. Um, but patient number one finished the program on 50% tube feeds. Um, patient two and six, or five finished, or yeah, two and six finished at 80%. Um, and the other were, we finished the program on 100% orally, oral feeds. Um, we continued to follow the patients, and all the patients are now 100% orally fed. And the five that completed the program, four of them have had their G tubes removed. Um, in addition to tra tracking their weight and their caloric intake, we did a 12-question um, form that we gave to both caregivers to fill out at the initiation of the program as well as the completion, looking at different areas of mealtime experiences. Um, and what we found is that there was a significant, statistically significant improvement in nine out of the 12 areas, and in the other areas, there was no significant change. So it didn't get better, it didn't get worse, so it kind of stayed about the same. Finally, what we did um, was costing. We know that tube feeding is extremely expensive in terms of the cost. Our program provides formula and supplies for tube feeding. So we looked at those costs as well as the cost of clinician times for the children to come in for follow-up, um, and then the cost of our time to run the program. So of the children we put through the program, we estimated the cost savings over three years to be at about 70000 and over five years to be over 120000 
One minute, please. Okay. Um, so in conclusion, what we found is that this program was safe and effective um, for the children that we tried it with. We, from the family's feedback, it significantly improved mealtime experiences, um, and there is huge cost savings, and those are two pictures of two of our little super eaters.